What is wrong with your hands? Look. My okay. dad cries constantly. I do cry at everything. <laughs> the state of that. <laughs> Hey, I'm Roman Kemp. I'm Martin Kemp. And this is Tag Questions with Fabulous Magazine. Ooh. Yeah, very excited for this. Are you ready let's, to go yeah, first? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, go on then. Pick from my bowl. Well, that is a piece of confetti. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, yeah you've just picked up more confetti. Who is the worst at keeping secrets? <sighs> that's a tough one. I think it's got to be you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't do you remember at all. The, do you remember the uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car? Yeah, do you want to explain what happened? Yeah, yeah. we used to collect corgi, corgi cars. And uh, Roman and Shirley bought me a corgi car. And it was a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And uh, Roman came up to me just before Christmas and he goes, uh, Dad, Dad, we haven't got you a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. Kind of gave it away. Uh, I'm never really that guy to tell a secret to. What is wrong with your hands? Look, who is most likely to embarrass themselves on TV? <sighs> no, dad. that's not true. I thought you were going to point at yourself. It's my dad's first time we did any cooking on national television. My dad uh, convinced himself for a good 20 minutes uh, that he was cooking, that he hadn't turned the pan on at all. He was just <laughs> pouring in uh, complete raw vegetables and ingredients. Um, into a non-heated pan, well, no, and I... then proceeded to smell the pan and go, mm, "Yeah, that because smells good. halfway through, I realised it wasn't on. I thought I need you to do You did not realise. I did. You I did. didn't realise. That's a I lie. I realised it wasn't on, and I thought I need to do a little bit of acting here to keep it going. Terrible, terrible. Who is most likely to forget where they parked the car? Uh, these are too easy. Yeah, that's me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Honestly, like. As a kid, I've grown up having countless amounts of hours wasted walking around the car park. We all I'm sure we parked on this floor. I'm sure we parked on this floor. We weren't even in that building. I just walk around the car park with my keys going zoom, 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 yeah. zoom, waiting for someone, a car to flash its lights. Exactly. Who's the biggest prankster? That's you. That's yours, that is. He's been pranking me since he was a little kid. There was this beautiful donut sitting in the fridge. And he had taken out the jam and filled it with the hottest chilli sauce you could ever imagine. So I take a bite into it, absolutely sends me on fire. But what I didn't know was that Roman had left a camera on top of the fridge filming the whole thing. What people may not know is that when I was around four years old, um, I was at our house with a friend of mine and we were running around playing. <laughs> toy guns and I remember we were running around and my dad must have seen us running around. He filled his mouth with ketchup as we were running around. Me and my friend ran in there, four years old, pretended to shoot my dad and my dad spat this ketchup over my face and my friend's face. My friend then looked at me, started crying saying we've killed your dad. My dad stayed on the floor for 10 minutes, right? <laughs> Rinsing it for 10 minutes. That's trauma, that's childhood trauma. It wasn't 10 that's minutes. Child, that's childhood trauma. It was most probably it's why, it's why I've seen a therapist for the past 13 years. Who's the most likely to cry at a sad film? You. Yeah, me. My okay. dad cries constantly. I do cry at everything. I, I'm, that's who I am. Yeah. But that's how I'm built. I don't know a film that I've watched with you where you haven't cried. Because I have no problem with crying. Because when you watch a film and it tries to make you cry, that's what, he's, you, that's what he's achieving. But like every film. I'm not judging, but, but you're definitely you. Who is most likely to get a tattoo after a few too many beers? That's you. It's got to be I you. don't think it is. It is you. It is. I don't think it is. And no. I'll tell you why. I may have the most amount of tattoos, yeah. but I think you're easier to peer pressure to get a tattoo I, I think you're right. Because I think I've already done it to you. I think you have. When I was younger, my dad didn't have any tattoos. You only know, like 40 at the time. Yeah. Like 40, right? Some would say past the age that you should be getting tattoos. Okay? Now, at this point, I said it'd be really cool if you got a tattoo. So much so that he went, yeah, yeah, it would. <laughs> Ended up going to a tattoo parlor, right? And then picked out one tattoo. And I said, that tattoo alone isn't cool enough. 
right? It needs to be two tattoos in one. So originally, went for a classic uh, as a 10 year old, picking a yin yang sign. And then what did we do to it? Lift it up. Put a big old sword through it. <laughs> The state of that. <laughs> it is the worst tattoo I've ever seen. And that was Tag Questions um, with us. Thank you very much. See you later.